scary. Coach, that's a tough one, I know. But can you give us your thoughts, uh, what's going through your mind about the game? And then we'll open it up for the questions from the media. Your thoughts, please. Just a great high school basketball game. Um, we're proud to be a part of that. Uh, Xavier's a really, really tough-minded uh, team. Uh, there's a reason why their point guard shot 170 free throws for the year. Um, he averages over six rebounds a game, and that's how they always play. And uh, I've seen them a few times. Um, I knew it was going to be this kind of game. It was going to come down to who could take care of the ball and who was more tough-minded at the end, and, and, uh, and it was free throw shooting. So we, we got to where we wanted to be. Uh, we had a nice late run in the season. Uh, we were there with uh, three seniors that have been there before. Uh, just happy uh, for the seniors that they had an opportunity to make a, a late season run, and we were playing our best basketball, and uh, our hats go off to Xavier. And, and Connor, right toward the end, how did that change or limit the options of what you could do on both ends of the floor? Well, in, in Justin Grau's case, uh, he got in early foul trouble, and a lot of the that has to do with Xavier going and posting up hard and, and their willingness to get to the rim. And he is uh, one of our better defensive players, one of our more tougher kids, and we absolutely missed him early. And um, he, he got his last foul, was a little, he wasn't balanced, and, and I, I think that he just was a little bit more anxious, and it hurt. And then obviously having Connor out of the game, uh, he is, he, he's just such a fighter. And he's had a great run here, and uh, we are, you know, we missed him at the end, especially. It just changes a little bit of things. A couple more guys have to handle the ball that don't don't typically handle the ball, and I thought that's what happened. Did you feel kind of like the you had the game in control with a couple of minutes left, and you uh, your team had so many opportunities at the free throws? Uh, when, when when they started fouling, I felt like we had the game on lock, which is probably what you're not supposed to do because that happens. But uh, missing the three front end of uh, free, three front ends of the bonuses really hurt. Um, that last play, I uh, I go with my right hand. I feel like I can get I can get to the rim with my right hand. They got three guys closing up, so I passed it to Joe, who I thought would shoot. And I was pretty surprised they passed it back. But uh, that's how the end then what happened. Was it after the buzzer? Did you even get the shot? I got the shot off. It was it was a little rushed because I, I knew the the clock was going down. Just being that close, how difficult is it right now? This one was a tough one to swallow. Um, we played pretty well all game. I think there were six turnovers and four turnovers in the game. Uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a heck of a high school basketball game, uh, especially when you're going up and down the floor and, and you're feeding the post, you're cutting hard, and, and we run some, uh, some high ball screen stuff and, uh, from side to side. And, um, so I, I, yeah, this one hurts because it was, it was such a, we, we played so well. Um, and I, I think anybody that could say it, you know, it was um, if you took four turnovers and six turnovers and it was going to be this kind of game up and down, um, I, I think everybody would say it was, a, it was a hell of a basketball game.